So in this video I want to share some Russian habits and aspects of our mindset and lifestyle. Let's take a look at the Russian uh, habits or weird habits maybe and see if South Africans do them or don't do them. Let's see. Fact number one about weird behavior of Russians. Men in Russia always carry women's things and they wouldn't allow her to carry anything because a guy wants to show his masculinity that he is strong he wouldn't let the girl to carry anything heavy so in south africa let me tell you something about south african men <laughs> oh my goodness so for a while uh men actually did not carry uh men women's stuff like a woman would carry everything balance a bucket on her head carry a baby on her back and maybe carry a piece of wood for the fire <laughs> in her arms while the man just walks next to her with his lovely stick and <laughs> just enjoying life <laughs> hilarious this is one thing that i think became um sort of like pushed out by uh, western ways and now men kind of like go to the opposite direction where they actually carry women's stuff so you'll find that um if the couple is walking they actually do the same thing too in south africa like they would carry the ladies bag and i've seen in some instances where the guy would even carry the girl's purse it's like that looks odd to me like don't carry my purse <laughs> Another habit and a tradition is to give flowers to your teachers on September the 1st every year when you go to school. September the 1st is a day of knowledge and a big public holiday in Russia. On this day we don't have classes, but we have a huge holiday at our schools and universities, big parades and concerts to celebrate the beginning of the new year uh, let's say the year of knowledge and every year we start our classes on this very day September the 1st I know that in some countries classes start on random days uh, and they vary every year you can start classes in August in September in October but in Russia it's September the 1st for everyone we give flowers to a teacher there is a parade and there is also a tradition of ringing a bell so there are countries where teachers have like a day where they are appreciated and people even bring them flowers. Are you kidding me? Uh, unbelievable. How come we don't have that? So not fair. Hmm. That would be nice, actually. Uh, September the 1st would actually be a good day for us to adopt this where teachers get... um flowers because for us september the first is actually spring day so people dress up for spring some kids like south africa kids wear school uniform so on spring day like some schools will even let the kids wear civics like um dress in like flowery clothing or wear flowers all of that stuff but ain't no teacher getting no flowers on the day <laughs> no ways you're not getting that here um also she says it's the beginning of the school year. Like, um, for us, when the year most ends at, on the 31st of December, and then um, every year the government decides like on what day the school is going to open in January. And it's usually just January. I, I don't remember ever the school opening in February, but it's like January. Like it will open like the third week of January. And that would be the first... Uh, day of school whatever day the government decided in january that would be the first day of school that would be the beginning of the school year interesting what what when does your school year begin russians fasten the safety seat belt in a car in order to avoid fines but not for safety reasons it's logical, right, that you fasten the seat belt just in case of an accident, to be protected, etc. But in Russia, during my whole life, I noticed this mindset to buckle the seat belt to avoid paying fines to the police. 
exactly the same in South Africa. People just don't wear seatbelts and they will wear it when they're approaching a police um, blockage or whatever, where they're going to get in trouble, then they'll wear the seatbelt. And then you'll be in the car with someone and then you put on your seatbelt and they'll be like, oh, what, you don't trust my driving? Like, I, how about I don't trust life itself? <laughs> oh wow and people will warn each other like if there's um police um ahead they'll warn you like be careful drive slow fasten your seatbelt because there's cars in ahead of you oh my goodness people do that in south africa too what do russians do when they panic they buy backward porridge i don't know why but at the situations of crisis, pandemic, war, or any unusual situations, Russians panic by backward porridge. By the way, do you have it in your country and have you ever tried? I have no idea what this porridge is. Like, I literally have no idea only what this Russians, porridge is. Correct and, me if um, it's not only I don't think the I've Russians. Ever seen it. We celebrate like, the what new I year on December 31st. The peak of COVID and after two that, weeks, um, they we would celebrate up the old on new year. Yes. <laughs> the, the old new year. We will stock up on year. toilet paper. This and oxymoron a lot of means that we're done alcohol. with the South previous Africans year buy and alcohol before they all the festivities food. of <laughs> the new year. South Africans this out there running out of food, food because they got alcohol. This holiday is celebrated on much smaller scale than the new year, but still, we celebrate the old new year. This holiday is celebrated on much smaller scale than the new year, but still, Russians go ice bathing or winter swimming, even when it's minus 30 in winter. What in the world is minus 30? Is that like a fridge or something? Is that like living inside a fridge? Why would I want to go? I There's no ways I'm going ice bathing. I do not like the cold. Let me tell you about South Africans. South Africans use hot water in summer <laughs> okay <laughs> it's like no we use hot water in summer no 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 we the cold is just not friendly with us we don't even get like snow and all of that our, pl our place is like we don't even go to the minuses in south africa we don't get like minus temperatures i think the lowest i've ever seen this winter was like six degrees and that is really cold why would I go ice bathing? No ways. I'll leave that to the frozen food. Hope you enjoyed it. The link to her channel is in the description and the link to a full video. Go see. She talks so much about um, Russia. Stay fabulous, darlings.